Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Jamar back from Vegas Scents, and in this video, I'm giving you all my top five F.A. Paris Fragrance World fragrances that I currently have in my collection, all right? So definitely stick around for the whole video, and also anyone new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, and also leave a like and a comment, all right? So bear with me here today i'm not really feeling my best uh but i will go ahead and try to get some videos out for you all uh this weekend so pretty much just to get started with this particular video um the first fragrance on this list is going to be francic 63.55 and this is uh fragrance world's take on bdk parfums gris charnel edp all right, so this is a, a extremely close clone to uh, Gris Charnel. I would say at least about 95% close to that particular fragrance. The only main difference that I really get from this one is in the opening uh, of Gris Charnel. I would say that the cardamom smells of slightly higher quality, uh, but this actually lasts much longer than Gris Charnel. And it also, it gives you, uh, I would say, louder projection for longer than what Gris Charnel does. So if you want a sort of stronger, longer lasting uh, Gris Charnel, this is definitely the one to check out. This is Francic 63.55. All right, so the next fragrance up, this is a extremely hard to find fragrance right now. Uh, but I would say if you are able to get your hands on this one and you like this particular scent profile, then absolutely pick this one up. This is F.A. Paris Fragrance World's take on Rose's Elysium, the Parfum Cologne, and this is Divin Asylum. All right, so Divin Asylum, this is, like I said, a really, really great clone of Rose's Elysium. Uh, I would say that this is going to be close enough to uh, Elysium, in my opinion, that if you don't necessarily have the money for Elysium, I think that this gets close enough to it uh, to where you may not necessarily need to spend, you know, the like $300 that Elysium goes for. Um, the only main difference that I would say that you get between this and the original Elysium is Elysium is just one of those fragrances that at least like in that opening sort of initial spray, the sparkliness that you get from that particular fragrance, I think is something that just hasn't been and probably won't be reproduced by any sort of clone. So this definitely, you get a, a, you know, a really crisp, sparkly sort of citrus opening with this. But it's not as, I would say, it, it's not as nice as what you get with Elysium, the original, all right? But, I mean, pretty much after that, once that sort of initial, you know, kind of opening spray goes away, which I, I want to say that sparkly opening only lasts for maybe a couple of minutes. After that, I mean, this pretty much does everything else that Elysium does for the most part. Um... The prices, I think, are kind of all over the place, depending on where you get this particular fragrance from. If you're getting it from somewhere like the Oud store, it's going to be more so on the higher end, closer to about $70 or so, I believe, $70 to $80. Uh, but I have seen this on sites like Frag Bar um, and I think Banadir as well for more like around like that $50 to $60 range. So I would say either way, even if you're getting this for like that higher sort of 70 to $80 range, this is a 100 ml bottle and it smells extremely close to Elysium, really high quality. And at least on me, it actually, it lasts a little bit longer. So I would say that this is absolutely worth the price. So definitely check this one out, man. This is Divin Asylum from F.A. Paris Fragrance World. All right, so the next fragrance up, this is going to be uh, F.A. Paris Fragrance World's take on Initio Side Effect, and this is After Effect. All right, so After Effect, this isn't actually like a 100% clone uh, of After Effect. It's not 95%. I would say it's not even 90%. It's more kind of like a sort of 80 to 85% clone of uh, initial side effect. 
Um, but what I can definitely say with this particular fragrance is I do actually prefer this one a little bit more than Side Effect. Um, obviously, the quality is not going to be as smooth as you know what you get with the Initio, but I mean, it's not really by much. And also, I would say that there's definitely, at least in the opening with this one, a much more sort of emphasis on spice. All right. So this starts off spicy, then it kind of goes boozy and vanillic. Um, whereas with, you know, uh, initial side effect, that one kind of starts off more so like on the, the boozier side. Um, and then it starts to get kind of vanillic and spicy. So, like I said, this is definitely more of a twist. So if you're looking for something that's like a exact clone um, in terms of like the different phases of initial side effect, this won't necessarily be it for you. Uh, but if you like the more so kind of spicier, you know, uh, you know, scent profile of Initio's uh, side effect, this is absolutely going to be a great choice for you. And again, this is After Effect by F.A. Paris Fragrance World. Next fragrance up, this is a, a really close take on Louis Vuitton's uh, Imagination. And this is going to be Essence de Blanc. All right, so Essence de Blanc. Uh, this is, in my opinion, this is going to be a little bit closer than, you know, what you get with the Emperor Perfumes Intimation. I do also love the way that Intimation smells. Uh, you know, it, it definitely is, I would say, at least for me, it's not super redundant with me having both fragrances. For some of you all, it may be, but at least for me, I do like to have both of those particular fragrances in my collection. And I mean, this one, I would say the main difference is this is definitely a little bit more like on the tart side uh, you know, when it comes to like that sort of opening spray. Yeah, this definitely it's tart. And I would say it, it holds on to that sort of tart citrus for a little bit longer than what the, the Louis Vuitton does. But for the most part, man, this still gives you that sort of watery kind of tea like, uh, you know, black tea sort of feel that you get from uh, Louis Vuitton's imagination. Um, and then, you know, also you definitely, you get plenty of that sort of Neroli uh, within the dry down for this fragrance. I would say that this is a fragrance that when you first get the bottle, it definitely, I would say this was, it was a lot more greener um, and tart when I first got the bottle. I would say now, you know, as this has kind of been sprayed a few times and it's, you know, sort of set on my, my shelf, for a little while, it definitely is starting to become closer and closer to the original Louis Vuitton. So I would say for anyone that has gotten this particular fragrance and you've maybe been a little bit disappointed with the way that this one is smelled, I would say just give this one a little bit of time to sort of sit. And as this one matures, it'll definitely become even closer and closer to the original Louis Vuitton. All right, so again, this one is Essence de Blanc by F.A. Paris Fragrance World. All right, and so the last fragrance up, this is gonna be another Initio clone, um, and this is going to be their take on Initio's Oud for Happiness, and this is Happiness Oud. All right, so Happiness Oud, man, um, this is not, a fragrance that I feel like gets a lot of love or a lot of attention, but I really, really love the way that this particular fragrance smells. This particular fragrance, this is pretty much like a sort of fresh, citrusy, spicy, woody take on like a oud fragrance. Um, now, that's pretty much that's the scent profile of the original oud for happiness. This is also another one of those fragrances that kind of has like its own sort of twist on it. And you also you get a lot more sort of ginger spice with this particular fragrance than what you get with the original from Initio. Uh, the Initio U for Happiness, in my opinion, is definitely a lot more woodier and a little bit more oodier. 
this one you do still get some woods and oud you know with this particular fragrance but it's not nearly as strong as you know like the sort of ginger emphasis that you get with this one and that's what really makes me like this particular fragrance a little bit more um you know than the the oud for uh happiness that sort of ginger spice that you get with this it it kind of adds like a sort of sparkliness um, and you know, it also makes the fragrance smell in my opinion stronger. So that's why I definitely prefer this particular fragrance over the original. And again, this is going to be happiness. Ooh, by F.A. Paris fragrance world. All right. So that is the list here for F.A. Paris fragrance world. Let me know what you thought of that particular list. Do you all have any of these particular fragrances? And if so, how do you enjoy these particular fragrances? Do you like these over the originals? Uh, or do you think that, you know, you would still probably buy or own the originals if you had any of these particular fragrances, all right? So let me know in the comments. And once again, man, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe. And that's Jamar from Vegas Scents. I'll see y'all in the next video.